Hi friends, this is Praveen and I'm trying to train you about the built-in methods in PHP. So the first thing we have to learn in built-in methods is uh, date methods and today I'm going to train you about date methods in PHP. But before we get started about the date methods, you should always know that your XAM should be up and running. In my case, I'm just getting running here and yes this is running your apache should be running for this particular work and you have to go for your htdocs which in my case is a shortcut for on my desktop but the actual path for this should be in c zamp htdoc in htdocs this is where you save your php files and in my case i'm going to create a folder with tutorials which already exist in this tutorials we have a built-in methods and in built-in methods i've got like two files the first one is date which is a textual file which has a .txt extension and we have got date built-in methods which has PHP files as if the PHP file should always be having the .php extension and we have this file and we have a date methods in PHP which is having some notes so before we get started with your date methods you should always go for understanding how about you handling your date methods as if notes what it has to say so let me just show you these are the three files we have and I'm going to first edit this file and if you could see this you have some date and time functions in PHP so first thing is first you have to know all the things before we get started with your date methods so let's get started to know one by one so time time is a predefined function which holds the current Unix timestamp in this case this is Unix Unix timestamp which was created early in Jan 5th uh, it was in created on 5th uh, sorry, it was created on 5th hour that was on Jan, Jan 1st, 1970, 5th hour, 30 minutes, 0, 0 seconds. So it was created on that particular day and this will return the total number of seconds completed from Jan 1997 till present time. Next we have is MK time which makes a time which allows us to make a time which in this case it will take hours, minutes, seconds, month, day, year. Okay. And the third thing you should be knowing is check date. This is a predefined function which will always take month, day, year. And it will always check what you argumented as month, day, year. And if the given arguments are being existing on the calendar, this will give you boolean true or else it will return false. So we have some formatting characters here. The first thing at the left side is the characters we have to follow and the description about that particular characters. First thing, let's try to go with small d. Small d creates a date value with leading zeros. In in our case today is, if I go and see very carefully, in our case uh, today is 5th, sorry, it's a uh, 4th, you can see here, 4th of September 2015. So 4 is a zing single digit. So this will add 0, 04 on the present date. We have small j, date with without leading zeros so we have something like no zeros in it capital D three letters day value which in our case if it is Monday it will give you mon and small l gives you a full representation of Monday D which has already been uh, told you that date will give you leading zeros so together with D and capital S this will add some suffix to your dates T total number of days in a month in September we have 30 days so this will give you 30 days debut weekday value if it returns 0 it will give you Sunday if it returns 6 it will return Saturday in this case you have to use a switch case because 0 means you cannot tell to the front end user 0 or 6 something like that so you need to use switch case for representing case 0 as Sunday and 6 case as Saturday but anyhow I don't prefer this because we have already got this capital D giving you Monday and Sunday or else small l representing full day representations this is obviously the best way to direct hit rather than going with the switch cases and making your code extending okay we have small z which represent your year day, year day value in this case I don't think it's a proper answer let's try to make it perfect this will return actually total number of days completed in a year so small z will return total number of days completed in a year small n month without leading zeros small m month with leading zeros 
with uh, 0 1 in this case if it is uh, September this would have given you 0 9 capital M three letter month representation Jan DEC capital F full month representation January December small y goes with two letter year representation in this case if the year is 2015 at this point of time so it will just give you a uh, one five but if you go with capital Y this will give you a four letter year representation so these are some of the characters that you can use for defining your dates and we have some time function small h giving you a 12 hours format with leading zeros small g giving you 12 hours format without leading zeros capital H 24 hours format with leading zeros capital G 24 hours format without leading zeros I minutes possible value range uh, in the form of minutes s seconds we have small a giving you am or pm in lowercase capital A am or pm in uppercase we have date underscore default underscore time zone underscore get this function returns default time zone that is being set in php.ini configuration file before set function is used so if there is anything not been set yet it will always fetch the dates from your php.ini that's got configured and the next thing is date underscore default underscore time zone underscore set if you don't like a desired time zones which has been already set in php.ini at any point of time you can change your argument with your desired time zones okay so well let's try to continue with the second video of your date methods and if you're perfect with this particular characters of formatting dates then the video would be easy to follow up so before you watch my second video you should be happy or you should be make sure that you know all these characters okay well, see you bye bye and i'll watch i'll show you in the second video bye